Hey internet, what's good? It's your girl Mercy and I'm back with another video for Black History Month. So today we're going to be talking about Daisy Bates, an American civil rights activist, publisher, and journalist. Daisy Lee Gatson Bates was born November 11th, 1914 and grew up in a small town in Arkansas. After her mother's death, she moved in with family and friends and never saw her biological father after that. In her publication, The Death of My Mother, Daisy recalls learning about her mother's murder at the age of eight. Daisy's mother was raped and murdered by three white men and then thrown into a pond when she was only a few months old. Learning about this murder and knowing that there was never any justice for it really fueled her fire to start ag advocating for civil rights and advocating for the justice of black people in America. She had been quoted saying, my life now had a secret goal, to find the men who had done this horrible thing to my mother. Out of concern for how hate-filled she had become, her adopted father spoke up and said, Daisy, don't hate white people just to hate white people. If you're going to hate, make it count. Hate the humiliating circumstances that we live under in the South. He told her to hate the discrimination that eats away at the souls of black men and women all over the country. He told her to hate the discrimination that eats away at the souls of black men and women all across the country. He also said, hate the insults that are hurled at us by white stuff, and then try to do something about it. Otherwise, your hate won't spell a thing. Throughout Bates' childhood, she attended schools in Arkansas where she experienced firsthand the segregation and what that does to children and their education system. At 25, Daisy started dating Lucius Christopher Bates, and a few years later they, they were married and moved to Little Rock. Shortly after moving to Little Rock, they decided to pursue their dream of owning a newspaper and rented out a printing press that was owned by a church and started the Arkansas State Press together. Their newspaper was mostly based off of advocacy journalism. It was modeled after other newspapers such as the Chicago Defender and The Crisis. Stories of civil rights usually ran on the front page, while the rest of the paper was filled with achievements of black people of Arkansas. It was also filled with tons of pictures and information about the black community and the civil rights movement. And years later, Daisy was finally recognized as the co-publisher of the paper. The paper became an avid voice for the civil rights movement even before there was a nationally recognized civil rights movement. As soon as they moved on to Little Rock, Daisy also joined the local chapter of her NAACP. And she joined it mostly because of her father's involvement in the NAACP and because of his dedication and of the history of the organization, she decided to dedicate her life as well. She became president of the Arkansas Conference of Branches when she turned 38 and remained on the board until 1970. As former president of the Arkansas State Conference of the NAACP, she became very involved in the desegregation movement. Even though in 1954, Brown versus Board of Education had ruled segregated schools illegal, many schools in Arkansas didn't want to abide by the rule and refused to desegregate their schools. So that's who Daisy Bates was, someone who really fought for the education of black people and really put our voices out there on paper as we all probably know there weren't a lot of newspapers or printed press at all that would speak about black people or the injustice of black people or the accomplishments of black people and she and her husband took it upon themselves to create a paper that was written by us for us so yeah that's the end of this video let me know down in the comments who else you want to talk about this month remember it's black history month celebrate our history celebrate yourself celebrate our culture um and as always be yourself be kind and be kind to yourself Peace.